Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. We're in the standard encyclopedia of philosophy, looking at the Trinity, and it's a great summation of different theories, models, people have the Trinity. Of course, the Bible is our ultimate source. And since the word Trinity, Trinitarian, Triune, you know, first person, second person, third person, co-equal, co-eternal, consubstantial, all of these terms are not found in the Bible. Well, how are we to biblically describe God? So it's just become so morphed. And the term Trinity and concepts of the Trinity really were not used anywhere um, for several decades, if not centuries. And the first instance we have of the Christian God being referred to as three hypostases is on the three natures in 149 AD by a Gnostic Valentinus. So great stuff. And this is part of a playlist you may want to check out, too. So, thanks for being here. One Self Theories and Modalism in Theology. Now, this is not about current or in this Pentecostals. This is two or three of the greatest theologians of the 20th century. Because you've got one, two, three, and four self models of the Trinity. This is one self models. I'm a one that's Pentecostal. So influential 20th century theologians, Karl Barth, 1886 to 1968, he kind of gave us neo-orthodoxy, and Karl Rayner, who's a Jesuit, 1904 to 1984, endorsed one self trinity theories and suggests replacements for the term person. Now, I will say almost universally, except in some small segments of evangelical, reformed Christianity, almost totally everybody says, person is misleading that we don't believe in three persons like three collateral persons that is obviously tritheism and orthodox trinitarians say that they argue that in modern times person has come to mean a self but three divine selves would be three gods hence even if person should be retained as traditional meaning in the context of trinity should be expounded using phrases like modes of being as Bart says, are manners of subsisting, as Rayner says. Bart's own summary of his position is, as God as in himself, Father from all eternity, begats himself as the Son from all eternity. As he is the Son from all eternity, he is begotten of himself as the Father from all eternity. This eternal begetting of himself and being begotten of himself, he posits himself a third time as the Holy Spirit. That is the love which unites himself in himself. A lot of people don't know that's kind of the classical model of the Trinity is the eternal generation, which is a contradiction in terms. Eternal means you don't generate. So eternal generation is contradiction. And then the love of Father and Son, since God is love, is so intense that it actually created the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, that is uncreated. A lot of contradiction. All of Bart's capitalized pronouns here refer to one in the self-same and self-revealing God, eternally existing in three ways. Similarly, Rayner says that God, let me back up, instead of the word son, a lot of one Pentecostals would use the term word and say that the Father is invisible, the word is the visible of the invisible, that which angels can behold in things, but it is not a separate person than God, it is God himself, it is God the Father that the Word was with God, visible to invisible, and the Word was God. It's God Himself. Um, so this is Rainer, R-A-H-N-E-R, -E the unoriginate who mediates himself to himself Father, the one who is in truth uttered for himself Son, and the one who is received and accepted in love for himself Spirit. And as a result of this, he, God, is the one who can freely communicate himself but God is one person. God is a he, not a they. He's not a committee. Similarly, the theologian, I mean, look thousands of times in Scripture. He, thine, in King James, is singular. He, you know, yes. People point to four plural times that are extremely tenuous at best. Um, it, and it's not even really referring to God. Similar theologian Alistair McGrath says, when we talk about God as one person, we mean one person in the modern sense of the word, i.e. a self. When we talk about God as three persons, we mean three persons in the ancient sense of the word, persona or a role that is played. That is McGrath in 1988. 
and you would be very difficult to find a more esteemed theologian in evangelical circles than Alistair McGrath. All three theologians are assuming that the three modes of God are essential and maximally overlapping. This has traditionally been called uh, interpenetration of persons in the Godhead, perichoresis, or I can't remember the Latin term now. It's not individuation. Oh, I can't believe I can't remember. Anyhow, let's keep going. Mainstream the Christian theologians nearly always reject modalism, nearly, meaning one self theory like that of Savelius, an obscure figure who thought who was thought to teach that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are sequential, non essential modes, something like ways God interacts with creation. Like the classical phrase God in creation, Father in creation, Son in redemption, Holy Spirit in regeneration. But sequential, I don't, almost no oneness person I know now believes it's sequential. They believe that God is still the Father right now. He's still in the Son right now and that it's not different. And so thus in one epic, God exists in the mode of Father during the first century, exists as Son. Then after Christ's resurrection, he exists as Holy Spirit, left to Al McGrath. And Pelican, which Pelican, though, Jaroslav Pelican from Yale University, great history of the church, kind of says that Sabellianism was the belief of the early church. Um, let's go to another video because we're going to look at Sabellian modalism is usually rejected on the grounds of such modes are st strictly sequential, as it's already said. Um, but we're going to go into some of that. So God bless. Thanks for being here. We just want to worship the one true and living God. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He's uh, the father, the word. He is a spirit. God bless. See you later. Bye.